One of college football's most famous places, the Rose Bowl. The UCLA Bruins welcome the Crimson Tide of Alabama to Pasadena. Alabama will kick it off. UCLA's receivers are Tab Perry and Jermaine Lewis. They'd like to have Perry get it. And here's Lane Bearden. They've got some sore legs among their kickers. He is a sophomore from Helena, Alabama, and it's in the air. And it's drifting well back into the end zone and don't come out with it. Tab Perry, he wanted to come, but it'll come out to the 20-yard line where it'll be first down. And they will need some poise from the young quarterback, Corey Paul. Goes back for his second pass of the day. The ball is thrown off the hands of Deshaun Foster. Ball was thrown behind him. Snaps hard and high, but it's fielded and it's away, and it's a pretty good kick. Running Millen's back to the 30-yard line. He one way, the other way, and go. Touchdown, Alabama. No flags behind him. 71 yards. He did have surgery in the offseason on his non-throwing shoulder, but it doesn't look good. He threw his helmet to the ground. The team immediately rallied around Ryan McCann, and all the players are going up consoling Corey Paws right now. It doesn't look good. We'll get more as it becomes available. Keith? McCann is a 6'4", 218-pound sophomore from Westlake Village, north of Los Angeles. And he stepped in last year when Paws got hurt and did a good job for them. So McCann is in the lineup. He throws the ball back across the middle to Deshaun Foster. Foster finds some daylight and picks up about eight yards on the play. Here's John Saunders. Otherwise, he'd keep him. On third down and a yard, they go outside with Foster to get the first down. And Foster keeps on pounding down the sidelines and gets inside the Alabama 40-yard line. Second down. Underneath, the ball thrown to Matt Stanley, the fullback. And Stanley's going to pick up uh, the better part of seven yards close to the 30. Foster is back at tailback. He gets the ball, looks to the left side, gets over the line of scrimmage, gets his shoulder square, and carries the tad tackler for what appears to be a first down. And you've got that fellow Rashid playing at that linebacker position, and he's almost part of the line of scrimmage right here. Quarterback keeps it, punches the head, and he looks like he'll have his first down. Yeah, you don't want to waste a situation down here where you have only five inches to go with a handoff. But if they were to stick it in the end zone after holding on to it for a while, it would probably help him considerably. McCann out of the shotgun, goes hard down the middle with it. The pass is caught by Dubrovic, and it is Dubrovic, I guess it is, and it is just short. It's well less than a yard, more like a foot. Give it away to the tailback, and he's going to have his first down. Foster, Foster weighs in at about 210. Ball comes back to the 20-yard line. We're at second down and 13 now. McCann stands up, looks to throw, throws, and it is caught on the rebound by one of the Bruins, and here's the penalty flag. Oh, look at Tab Ferry. That's legal. Yes, it's legal. And make it first and 10 for the Bruins. Down to the five-yard line with Fishon Foster. Seidman, Fishon, three tight end on the field. And it's the quarterback, McCann, coming around, and he's at the goal line. He's short. He did not get in. On fourth, and goal from the one. It's Foster. throw it deep and he does to the sidelines and the pass is caught by Freddie Millens. Zhao stands up quickly, throws the ball to Millens. He's got two blockers out there and give him just enough room to pick up a first down for Alabama up on the 46-yard line. Sam Collins is in the lineup now for Alabama. Going to the top of the screen is a wide out number seven. You've got three of them up there and they all are speed burners. Zhao back looking to the left, going deep down the field. It's intended for McCadley, and it is incomplete. And the Bruins start. 
from the 20. First down. McCann slides along, gives the ball to Deshaun Foster, who's having a big day in this opening game of 2000. They got Mitchell on the bottom, Paulie Dixon on the top, running up the middle. First down for the Bruins out of the 35-yard line. Inside two minutes to go in the first quarter, 7-7 seven, seven time. McCann turns and gives back to Foster, gets past the line of scrimmage, breaks a tackle, and keeps on pumping down for another UCLA first down. He's picked up 69 yards on the ground, out for a breather with Jermaine Lewis in to replace him. And McCann, the left hander, throws to the sideline. Got a man wide open, that's Freddie Mitchell. And the ball from just outside the 30-yard line. Pitch to Foster. Foster gives it to Mitchell. He can throw it. He's got a man open. He's got a touchdown. Brian Paulie Dixon. Zow off the snap. Turns and hands the ball back to Bohannon. And Bohannon will not get to the line of scrimmage. Foul. Could have I been a celebration. It was, yeah, it was. It was well not celebration. It was taunting more than celebration. Here's Zah rolling out. He lets it go. The ball is caught by AC Carter, the sophomore from Tallahassee, Florida. Out of the shotgun. Ball thrown underneath. It's an incomplete forward pass. Pass intended for Antonio Carter. A quarterback for a pause separated right shoulder. His throwing shoulder. McCann is in there at Foster, who's having a big day. Foster comes up the sidelines. Penalty flag. They got a face mask call. It's going to come after it. Jay Strickert, we told you, is the referee. Shotgun. On the bottom of the time. Out of the gun. Pressure. Now he sets up a screen play for Foster. And Deshaun Foster steps away from one, from two, from three. And they finally take him down inside the 30-yard line. Troy Denoff. Leading on the play, the big center. Working on the shotgun again. Pass is caught by Creshawn. And Creshawn will have a first down for the Bruins down at the 15-yard line. The big tight end from Northridge, California. Third and six. Throws it down. Takes off. He's a cross pass to Marker and belts it out of bounds at the five-yard line by Tony Dixon. That started the whole thing, and it's become quite popular. Foster carries it over for the touchdown. Running behind Arania Stensbury, the big fullback. Hard hook. Zow out of the shotgun, throws to the sidelines, complete the Millens, and Millens will pick up about eight yards. He's got it. Coming up the middle. And McClintock has not seen much of the ball yet either. He's that big guy, that big old fullback. They can beat on you with those guys. Down back, however, is throwing. He bucks it off to Perry Jones, the tight end. And you see the speed of this guy. He's big. Perry Jones, 265-pound junior from Tuscaloosa. Millens in motion, got the ball, one man missed him, he got the first down, and now they're getting tackling, but it's too late. 13-yard line, first down, Alabama. This is Galloway, and he's out of bounds. He's out of bounds at the three. Third down and goal, they need about six inches to score. And they pitch it back. Here comes Galloway for the corner, walks in. Touchdown, Alabama. Six. A little short snap. And a sack. They never got off the blocks. Jared Johnson and Victor Ellis ate him up. Moving smartly right now. This is Galloway. Galloway pins it off to McAdley. He's the track man. He's got a block on the corner and he's gone. sidelines and save the touchdown standing back at the 20 blindsided by Marcus Anderson 
Neil Thomas, a 38-yard field goal try. A junior college transfer from Hines Community College down in Mississippi. On the way. And good. Lane Bearden will kick off. Jermaine Lewis and Tab Perry will wait for it. And it's Perry certainly up under the 15-yard line. It's a good play. Down one. And the ball comes up. And it is covered by Bearden. Foul face mask on the defense. 15 yards. It's a big one. 15 now. yards. Shotgun, pressure, set up a screen pass, worked some, penalty flag. Might have cost him a step there Illegal because once he got the behind, he pushed. The Turns and hands the ball to him. Mm -hmm. Not much, up to about the 44. And the clock is running now at 15 seconds. It looks like they're going to let it run out. So the first half of play has been a bit of a surprise, perhaps, but just about what the coaches had told us they thought it would be. Close, and it is. UCLA 21, Alabama 17 at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Ready, Nightmare Bills. Here's the kick. It's high hanger. It's going to be short. The other way with Millen. <laughs> Penalty flag thrown back there at about the 22 yard line as Millen just finally run out of bounds. The penalty being assessed now against Alabama for the push in the back. Now they put the tight end Rodgers in motion and Zhao hands the ball off to Galloway and he's caught behind the line of scrimmage back on the four yard line. Kenyon Coleman. McCann sets a man in motion. Pulls it down and takes off. And they bring him down short of the line of scrimmage. The ball goes rolling out of bounds. Again, back throwing on first down. Throws quickly. The ball is struck by Dubovac. Could be second down and one from the 29. Foster working in the middle is across the 30. And it's the 32. picked off by Darius Gilbert, that big defensive end. He got up there, got a hand on it. Up the middle. Lucky to get that one back. Intended for A.C. Carter. There's a penalty flag. They were grabbing his jersey all the way through. A lot of contact. You can't do that and gain the advantage on the receiver. Illegal. go down the middle. It's picked off. Picked off by Ricky Manning. Great return by Ricky. Inside the 20. UCLA ball at the Alabama 18-yard line. A great opportunity here. They knocked it away from him, and now it's a fight. And it looked to me like a Bruin got it, and they did. Instead of getting on it, covering it, and trying to run with it, UCLA got it back. Lost 13 yards at second down and 23. McCann's going to get some pressure from the back. He does. He throws it. To get a piece of it. Is it a catch? going to give it to him. Nearing the Alabama 15. McCann's pass. Intercepted. And this may be six. Reggie Miles. Touchdown. No flag. This is Foster again over the right side. This time the big goal. He got away. The big guys had a hold of him, and he stepped on pounding, and he got away from Jarrett Johnson. Can't still got it. Going big. 
Got a man. Caught. Touchdown. Freddie Mitchell. This is Galloway. Fumble. Burns had it. Hammer got it. And they'll keep it at the 21 yard line. Bohannon it was. Not Galloway. But this is Foster. Cuts it through. Deshaun Foster comes away. They've got to grab cloth to get him down. The UCLA offensive front now beginning to reassert itself. They're sort of side this time. This is Foster pushing it along to the outside. And out of bounds. Holding on the offense. Ten yards empty. Still first. We've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> Again, plus Kenny Smith. Tyler Watts is in at quarterback now for Alabama. So warming up. Making his first appearance. He's a little more inclined to pull it down and run it. While his first pass is high and outside. And there's a late flag. Oh, it's against UCLA. Had a holding call at Aston Watts. Quickly to the sidelines to Miller. He gets away from the first one. Oh, the ball loose. Rolling around the Burns. Get it. Burns had it. <laughs> ball is completed to Freddie Mitchell. Mitchell took one man and got another five or six yards out of it. Now a penalty flag is thrown. That's going to be 15 to keep hitting him out of bounds. Personal foul. Third down and a long three. legs and give him the ball oh, he didn't get it he lost there was great penetration by the front of the Alabama defense and he lost a yard this will be a 54 yarder watch the fake they punt it punt it ball was snapped back to him and they punt it and it's rolling around down at the 10 and rolled dead great right call. about the 10 yard line great call Get some spark in the offense, which has been pretty quiet. Myrie is also out there on the field as the tailback. Down the line it goes on the option with the rock turning it up the field. And he's up to the 20-yard line on the carry. Pick up of 10 yards by Watts. The ball comes back to him. He takes off again. And he's got eight yards on that carry. Second down and two. Intended for Collins. Collins have stopped. Bruins from their 23. Foster. Skating along out to about the 32. Still have plenty of time though for the time to get things going. There's the first down. As the Sean Foster having the game of his life against the people. <laughs> There he goes again. Oh my, I'll tell you right now, if Victor Ellis doesn't get him by the feet, 
he may still be going. for 188 yards. The record for the UCLA rush in a game is 42 carries. Dropped it. And McCann recovered it. All right, Chris Griffin is on the field. Last time he pooch kicked it. This time he might very well try the field goal because this is within his range. They'll put it down. It'll be about a 43-yarder. And if he makes it, it will be a door slam. to Galloway and Galloway is close to a first down as he goes down at the 35 yard line but he did not reach the first down therefore the clock continues to run 90 seconds left our producer today Mark Loomis our director today Patrick McMenus Kelly Hayes our spotter and Mark Demetto our statistician Bob Toledo's UCLA club won 10 games the year before last and 10 the year before that. They had a 20-game win streak and were one play away from playing in the national title game. Last year was an aberration at 4-7 because of suspensions and injuries. Andrews out back again. Has a lot of room in front. Instead throws the ball, completes to Carter. And Carter will have a first down at midfield. You're a pretty good partner. Fourth down. Didn't quite get his first down. Fourth and very short. And they didn't get that. He's tackled behind the line of scrimmage by Kenyon and UCLA will get the ball back and there goes your game this one's in the books Freddie Mitchell is the deep man for UCLA but they're not going to hand that ball off they just take a knee and put it down and get the clock rolling and the game's over try to snap it one more time you see the happiness on the sideline not a grim Mike DuBose Herman, yes, but a deliriously happy UCLA team and coaching staff. They did their work well, and it was a very, very good college football game as UCLA wins over Alabama 35 to 24.